Hey everybody, it's me, Pastor Jason. Sorry I missed you yesterday. Hopefully it didn't deter you from getting together with the Lord. Today we're going to start our daily devotion in Ephesians. We're going to be in Ephesians 1. I know this is coming out a little bit later than usual, but you'll forgive me about that too, I hope. So let me pray and we'll get right to it. Father, thank you so much for an opportunity to open your word. May it impact our willingness and desire to be more like you. Father, we thank you for your son's sacrifice on the cross for us. May we remember all that we have through him, through the name of Jesus. Father, it's through his son, your son's precious name that we pray. Amen. So, Ephesians 1. Uh, we're not going to jump into a whole lot of questions today, but I want you to hear we're going to hear a, a term over and over and over again. I want you to pick up on it. It's in him or in Christ. So as I read this, pay attention to those sections. Pay attention to all the different things that are going to come up that are in him. And we'll kind of go over them at the end. Okay. Ephesians 1, verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to the saints who are at Ephesus, who are faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we would be holy and blameless before him, in love, he predestined us to the adoption as sons through Jesus Christ to himself, according to the kind intention of his will, to the praise and glory of his grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished on us. In all wisdom and insight, he made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his kind intention, which he purposed in him, with a view to an administration suitable to the fullness of the times, that is, the summing up of all things in Christ, things in the heavens and things on the earth. In him also we have obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to his purpose, who works all things after the counsel of his will, to the end that we who are the first to hope in Christ would be to the praise of his glory. In him you also, after listening to the message of the truth, the gospel of your salvation, having also believed, you were sealed in him with the Holy Spirit of promise who is given as a pledge of our inheritance, with a view to the redemption of God's own possession, to the praise of his glory. For this reason, too, having heard of the faith in the Lord Jesus, which exists among you and your love for all the saints, do not cease giving thanks for you uh, while making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened, so that you will know what is the hope of his calling, what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power toward us who believe. These are in accordance with the working of the strength of his might, which he brought about in Christ, when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also the one to come. And he put all things in subjuga subjection under his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. There are a lot of things that are pent up in this idea of being 
in Christ. And to name a few of them, I've made a couple, a little bit of notes. Um, but to name a few of them, verse 3, in him we are blessed with every spiritual blessing. Verse 4, in him he chose us and predestined us. In him we have redemption and forgiveness. Verse 9, in him we know the mystery of his will, which is Christ in us. Verse 10, in him that everything is going to be summed up in him. In him we have obtained an inheritance. That's verse 11. Verse 12, in him who are the first to hope in Christ. Our hope is in him. Verse 13, in him we are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. And then even in the second section, in the second section, starting in verse 15 there through the rest, there are several other things, you know, working to the strength of his might, which he brought about in Christ. But if you've never really considered everything that is wrapped up in Christ, and when we believe in Jesus, we are accepting all of those things that are in Christ. It's kind of mind-boggling. We're blessed with spiritual blessings. He chose us, predestined us. He redeems us. He forgives us. He makes known a mystery of Christ in us. And all things are going to be summed up in him. Everything, we have obtained an inheritance. I mean, just, I can go on and on, just repeating things. Have you considered the greatness of Christ in you? Take a moment today to think about that and thank the Lord, the Lord for everything that you have in Christ and all the things you will have in Christ and all the things you recognize that you've obtained in Christ. It's my hope and prayer that your relationship with the Lord draws closer and closer every day as we do these daily devotionals. And with that, I hope that you are blessed and that you'll be a blessing to those around you. I'll see you tomorrow with Ephesians 2.